Uh, yes, students, have a quick look at this map given in your textbook. Here is Egypt and this is the Valley of Kings. This is to, uh, a tomb of Tutankhamun and this is New Kingdom of Tutankhamun uh, reign where he basically ruled. Uh, you know, uh, Carter tried to loosen the reasons by keeping the body in hot sun. Uh, he kept mummy in 149 degrees Fahrenheit, but no results were gained out of it. And uh, it remained stuck. He, repute, uh, he reported that a chisel could be used to cut down the mummy from the ribs and then trunk so that the toots body could be taken out of the coffin. According to Carter, I mean, he was left in his uh, defense, what he actually said, he was left with no choice. He had no choice but to cut the body. He believed that if he would not have done that, thieves could have removed the gold from the tomb and would have looted it. And there's a word used here, circumvented. That means these um, thieves would have gone round and round the place and somehow looted the, uh, would looted the mummy. During the Tut's time, the royal people were very wealthy. They had a belief that after that, they could take wealth along with them for his life after death. He was given precious collars, necklaces and, you know, decorative present, uh, patterns, bracelets, rings, amulets, ceremonial aprons, sandals, seats for fingers, toes and an iconic inner coffin and a mask. His uh, men removed his head and every joint of his body. And I, I'm basically talking about uh, Carter's men. What they did, they removed the mummy's head and severed each and every joint. After they finished, they reassembled the remains in a wooden box with padding filled with a la layer of sand to conceal the damage. It was his basically new resting place. As we know that archaeology... Um, Archaeology has advanced in past few decades and it has changed as it now focuses on the details of life and mysteries of death. Earlier it was focusing um, on treasure. Now it used more advanced medical technologies and tools for research. And in year 1968, an anatomy professor x-rayed King Tut's mummy and revealed that Front limbs and bre breastbone were missing. And uh, today, uh, today it's even more advanced. Uh, advanced. And uh, with CT scan, scan, CT scan is basically computer, uh, computed tomography. And through this scan, what can be actually done? Virtual image of whole body can be made. With the help of technology, King Tut's body would be scanned to find answers to two questions. How did he die? Now the question is, how did he, how did he die? And how old he was at time of his death? His death was a shock to the royals as also he was the last person of his family and his funeral indicated diminishment of his dynasty. However, what happened after his death is still not clear. Uh, well, students, Tut's father or a grandfather, Amenhotep III, was a powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years. And his son, Amenhotep, uh, four, succeeded him and began, began the strangest period in the history of Egypt. He promoted the worship of Aten and uh, uh, what, uh, that the sun disk, right? Uh, he changed his name to Akhenaten, meaning servant of Athens. He also shifted the religious capital from Thebes to the new city of Akhenaten called Amarana. Further, he may attack Amun, a god, smashed his images, closed the temples. Ray Johnson, director of uh, University of Chicago, said it must have been a bad time for empire as the people who ruled for centuries came to an end and Akhenaten moved in an odd direction. You can see, uh, I have just uh, pointed it out for you, what Ray Johnson had to say about it. 
सो आफ्टर दिस देर वॉज अनदर मिस्टीरियस रूलर मैन खरे सक्सीडेड इम एंड डाइट सून नेक्स्ट टूट इन खाम इन ऑल्सो नोन एज टूट सुट सेट ऑन द थ्रोन रूल फॉर नाइन ईयर्स ही वर शिड गॉड एनन इन ओल्ड वेज हाउ एर ही डाइट मिस्टीरियसली टूट इज वन ऑफ द मम्मीज इन इजिप्ट वेर एज अंटिल नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ इजिप्शियन मम्मी प्रोजेक्ट वी स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड थ्री ऑलमोस्ट सिक्स हंड्रेड मम्मीज so far 600 mummies have been recorded and king tut's mummy was the first to be scanned by city scan under next phase of scanning the mummies with the machine donated by national geography society and siemens uh now a city scan machine scan the body creating 100 and uh, 1700 degree uh, digital x-rays in cross sections tut's head was scanned in uh, 0.62 mm slices to record the tiny details the resulting image was very strange a team of radiology forensics anatomy experts started examining the secrets of the grave that had been protected by flying goddess for a long time so here you can uh, see tutankhamen with the flying goddess it is believed in um, ancient egypt that this god she uh, she was in charge of protection of the royals who are buried there buried there and after this uh, what happened actually the night of the scan workman carried tuts um, uh, tut from the tomb um, in a box and uh, they rose the body on a hydraulic lift then on a trailer where the scanner was kept after 20 minutes two men ran towards office nearby to bring two fans uh, because um, the actual fans of the scan had stopped working back um, once the fans were the procedure was finished the data was checked in case of any losses and technicians returned the body to the pall bearers who carried him back to his tomb in less than 3 hours he was resting at the same place where priests had laid him many years ago and in the trailer the technician showed a beautiful image of tut on computer scan and he showed the gray head which was scattered in pixels he spun it around next the vertebrae hand rib cage and transition of skulls skull were shown as the work was done the pressure was finally off the shoulders or zahi hawas while sitting in his chair he smiled and said he was relieved and that nothing went wrong and while uh, sitting in his chair he was smiling and said that he was re- really relieved he had not slept the previous night and now as the work was done he would go and sleep by the time they left the trailer the wind had stopped and the winter air was like death itself just above the tomb of orion the constellation shone in the bright sky watching over the boy king and orion is basically the god uh, god who ta- who looks after people after death and he was uh, guarding the grave of a uh, young tut boy king basically but still the mystery surrounding the death of king tut uh were not clear but it really it rather reveal lots of lots of information about uh, that uh, period of time i'm sure students you might have found this chapter very interesting it might have rem- uh, rem- uh, reminded you of series of movies mummy returns and all that and you can actually imagine um, these um, kings how they were buried and how people believed in resurrection of these people and how they will need all the goods in after life and in next video we will be discussing about the questions from the chapter